Hey yo, good evening viewers of the tube. My name is Tyler and if it's your first time here, let me introduce you to the channel that will always keep fighting the good fight, no matter how many bad actors stick their fangs into this industry. Well, let's do this like John McClane. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki mother trucker. It's time for Chico Crypto. From that intro, you may think I'm going after the bad guys in today's episode, but actually I'm highlighting something good that is going on in the space, the developers and development of blockchain projects and dApps. You can get a clear glimpse of what is going on in the blockchain ecosystem by seeing where the developers are building, what they are building, and how often they are building. Today, I would like to dig into the top 10 projects based on 30-day developer activity from GitHub. You can tell a lot about the state of a project or a dApp by the amount of activity it has on here. Projects with lots of activity, including pushes and commits, are in the middle of building and shipping, while a project whose GitHub is sparse with action is either a sign the project is in a lull, hasn't began building, or is so perfect it doesn't require any more work which is a white unicorn. This data is pulled from State of the DApps, which does an excellent job of retrieving data from GitHub, including commits, pushes, issues, and pull requests. Although this information is by no means a definitive picture of the blockchain ecosystem for many reasons, but the data does illustrate some interesting trends regarding open source projects. For example, of the top 20 projects for 30-day developer activity, 16 of them are built on Ethereum, 3 are their own blockchain or interoperability projects, and 1 is building on EOS. This suggests that the vast majority of blockchain developer activity is still on Ethereum. This is what I have been saying for the longest time. Developers building actual use cases are building on Ethereum. Other projects like EOS, Tron, or any other smart contract platform are having simple dApps being built that don't take any skill and won't provide long-term real-world value. This point was just reiterated by a very influential person, Elon Musk. He tweeted, Ethereum. Vitalik followed it up by asking him to come to Ethereum DevCon in October, and Elon replied, what should be developed on Ethereum? He didn't ask about any other platform, even though leaders were begging him to take notice, like Justin Son of Tron tweeting, Tron, in reply to Elon's tweet. So let's get into this with the number one project based on 30-day developer activity. That project is Status. Status can be considered a mobile Ethereum OS, which currently includes three things, a messenger, crypto wallet, and an Ethereum Web3 browser. Status had nearly 7,000 events on GitHub in the past 30 days, suggesting the sizable global Status team has been working hard developing the iOS, Android, and desktop version of the Status app. The number two project based on developer activity is Storage. Storage is a heavily favored decentralized cloud storage solution, and it's being built on Ethereum. Storage is currently in the user alpha stage, but in the fall, they will be releasing their beta, and the activity with the project has been picking up. In February of this year, their activity was 2,900 events. As of today, it has grown to 4,750 events, signaling they are on time for release. The number three project is one I have been a big fan of for some time. That project is Augur, and is one of the more sophisticated projects on the Ethereum mainnet. Augur considers itself a decentralized oracle and prediction market protocol. If you haven't bet on whether Donald Trump will get re-elected in 2020, do you even blockchain, bro? Augur has consistently been on top of developer activity. Within the past 30 days, it's no different. They had nearly 4,300 activities. The number four project is one you cannot find on CoinMarketCap, yet. That project is High Fidelity, which is creating a virtual reality metaverse on the EOS blockchain. High Fidelity is backed by billionaire Mike Novogratz. The project will release its own coin called High Fidelity Coin, which will be a stable coin on the EOS network and used for transactions within that metaverse. 
The project is working feverishly toward EOS integration with 4,017 events in the past 30 days. The number five project is one who I have recently picked as one of my top two coins for quarter two 2019. That project is Cosmos with their token Atoms. Cosmos is a blockchain interoperability protocol. They recently had their mainnet release and tokens unlocked for transfer. I stated in that video what I thought would happen to the price with the token release. Let's hear what I had to say. The Cosmos mainnet went live a few weeks back, but transfers of the atoms was delayed for security reasons in case any bugs or issues with the validation process. Transfers were just given the green light, which means ICO investors will soon be able to sell their tokens if they want to. The ICO price was only 10 cents per token, and currently IOUs on some exchanges have atoms at over $5 per coin. That is a 50x for ICO investors, and we should see a dump once the coins are actually transferable. I will not be buying right away when it hits the exchanges, but wait for the price to settle. Boy, did I get that spot on. The price got crushed upon release and then settled into the low $3 range, but as of today, it's sitting at $4.50. Now that the mainnet is launched, the developer activity hasn't slowed down. They had 4,009 events in the past 30 days. The number six project is the Origin Protocol. Origin is just a dApp on Ethereum, and the beta is currently live on the mainnet. It utilizes Ethereum smart contracts and IPFS to create decentralized marketplaces. Currently, you can buy all sorts of things like t-shirts, gift cards, tickets to events, or even watches. They also have a marketplace creator where you can easily build your own decentralized marketplace off the protocol. Tokens for Origin are not out now, but they will be coming out. And the only way to receive them as of right now is to complete developer tasks or buying things off the marketplace. Within the last 30 days, Origin has seen 3,858 events take place, showing active work is being done. The number seven project is once again built on Ethereum and has been a mainstay for a long time. That project is Aragon. Aragon gives you the freedom to manage persons, places, and things through creation and management of decentralized autonomous organizations. Aragon went live on the mainnet last year, but hasn't slowed down one bit with their development. They were just behind Origin with 3,854 events in the past 30 days. Number eight, based on activity, is another prediction market and Oracle platform, similar to Augur and once again, built on Ethereum. That project is Gnosis. Gnosis has contributed massive amounts to the Ethereum ecosystem, including Dutch X smart contracts. These are exchange protocol smart contracts that use the Dutch auction principle to prevent problems prevalent with other exchanges, like front running. Gnosis has had 3,132 events in the past 30 days, nearly up 30% from last month, signaling they are getting ready for another big release. Number nine is a project that will be its own blockchain, but is currently an Ethereum ERC-20 token. That project is ALF. ALF basically is a decentralized cloud computing blockchain network that is aiming to become the Linux system for the blockchain community. The team just released its version 0.7 alpha, and their weekly progress report suggests a mainnet launch is just around the corner. GitHub activity suggests that as well, as they have had nearly 3,000 events in the past 30 days. The final project on the list is a wallet that started out as Ethereum-based, but has since moved to other crypto protocols, including Ethereum Classic, POA Network, GoChain, and VeChain. That project is Trust Wallet, and it was recently acquired by the exchange who should not be named. This purchase has kicked development into full gear, as they weren't even in the top 20 in February, but now are ranked number 10 with 2,803 events. Well, viewers, this by no means tells you how good or bad a project is, but does give you an insight into those who are actually dedicated to building and releasing what they said they would. If you would like to check out all the projects or ones you favor, check out stateofthedapps.com. Cheers, I'll see you next time.